Who's that? Just a neighbor. It's nothing. Hey, I'll tell something. And what if it had been the police, eh, huh? What then? That's all turned to fucking dimension stuff, oh, Vic. I just, just feel them here and now. Yeah. Like the girl upstairs. Right. Who are you calling? The alarm company. What about the girl, huh? Maybe we should make her a deal offer some money. Yeah? You want to live with hope and she keeps it? Hey, I don't want to live with what I have to already. Yeah, this is a Victor Malik. Right, on Barrows. ID code is 2245 Edward. Yeah, false alarm. Thanks. We should probably go ahead and move these bodies, huh? Yeah, please. Yeah, well, why don't you do it? I can't. That's all right, I'll do it. John, yeah. you, you mind gathering up the phones just for security reasons? Huh? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have a drink. Been. Like a wax doll. Come on. Come on, Frank. Man, she, she's dead. You're not thinking right. Come, come on, Frank. Let's go. You know, Ben, when I was a kid, I did an armed robbery. Yeah, Ma and Pa store. And the imbecile I was with thought the old man was reaching for something. He shot him dead. Nobody ever found out about it. But the boss knew. He's here, Ben. He's knocking on my door. Before Taylor? What? Neither did I. Before the golf. But they made me CO. Gave me a tank and platoon to go kill somebody. It's my mother's life. God, we were psyched, too, man. We were so fucking psyched. Show those Iraqi motherfuckers. So our auto comes through, I were to bust through enemy lines. We had no idea the bombers had already buried most of them alive. All we knew was we were cutting through them like there was nothing there. Man, I want to hear this flashback shit. Till the ground beneath our tank collapsed. We took a dump 15 feet straight down into an enemy bunker. We got out to take a look. There was a half dozen Iraqis trapped beneath their tracks. Three of them still alive. Jesus. They were screaming in pain, slowly dying. The rest of the crew couldn't take it. They went topside. I stayed. But there was nothing I could do. Nothing. 
nothing but watch him die. They were dying because of me, and there wasn't a fucking thing I could do about it. It wasn't your fault, man. Some political shit. I can still see an image of the last guy. Choking on his own tongue. Guts spilling to the ground. But he was smiling, man. I swear to God, Taylor, he was fucking smiling. Can you believe that? John, you know I had nothing to do with this, right? I mean, you'd tell the police that if it came to it, wouldn't you? That I had nothing to do with it? Fuck you, Timon. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like thinking I'm gonna die any goddamn shh, second. Shh, shh. Start thinking about getting out of here. Get me out of here. I wanna have to think about it. Where's Kim? I wanna be with her. She's dead. You know that. Oh, God, no. What are we gonna do? This is unfucking believable. Maybe you could try and go upstairs, talk with the girls, see if you can work out some kind of a deal or something. A doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Serena, is it? My name is Michael, and uh, I know it's been a crazy night. I, uh, I know you want to get out of here, and uh, they don't want to keep you any longer than they have to, and I want to get out of here, so I thought maybe I could just um, come up here and we could talk, just see if we can work something out. Really? You know, Ben, this is my 30th wedding anniversary. Ben and I, we're gonna go to Cancun right after Big's wedding. Uh-huh. Cancun? Gloria and I used to go there. Huh? Yeah, we had a nice little place by the beach. Oh, yeah? I really like Canada. <coughs> Vancouver, especially. Beautiful place. Very nice people. Huh? Did you ever go fishing there? No. Very good charter fishing up there. Really? Is that the best you can do? See, we'll talk like you never had so much as a traffic ticket. You're all pathetic. Yeah, but you are a pain in the ass, and I've had enough. You understand? Yeah, but well, what are you gonna do about it? That's what I thought.
stage. What's the deal? These guys downstairs, they want to give you a lot of money, and you just go away somewhere and don't come back. I have a kid. Okay. Kid goes with you. Where? Anywhere you want. I need to go down there and tell these guys I've got your cooperation. Do we have your cooperation? What do you think? She's a, she's a tough one. All right, so, so, so what, are, what are we gonna do? Is there a way out? Maybe not for all of us. Well, you make a deal? I don't think she's gonna go for it. But well, she gotta want something. You give it to her. I'm in no mood to have her. Whatever she wants, we give it to her. What happens when she's out of reach and decides to tell her little tale? Look, what if we make her sign something? You know, she gives us her word. Her word? Hey, wait a second, Pete. This was your idea, remember? He's right, Dad. She's the problem. I can't believe you're even considering this. Considering what? Damn it. I'm sorry. No, it's not you. It's the air conditioning. It's out. Oh, a fuse. Or, or something that blew, Vic, when I was checking on the alarm box. I mean, you, you didn't tell me there was more than one box down there. It's like, it's like fucking mission control down there, you know? <laughs> oh, that's great. Now we're all gonna roast to death in here. Yeah, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. How can she put us away? She wasn't even in the room. Yeah. I mean, what kind of a witness is that? She saw enough. Come on, Frank. Guys, why don't we just stick with the idea that we had nothing to do with it? Okay? They fought amongst themselves. No, not that again. The fuck up. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Okay. Look, look, it's easy. Okay, okay, here it is. The escort and the girl got into a fight, he broke her neck. And the sister shot him in revenge. Wait, wait a second, guys. Who's gonna believe all that shit went on here and we had nothing to do with it? <laughs> 